is in disarray and predicting that the nationalists are about to cause a political earthquake. Well, tonight the Labour Party will try to select a candidate after their favourite choice pulled out. We have two reports in a moment, Katrina Renton, on the latest from Labour. But first, Tim Reid with the SNP. Alex Salmond is a man who doesn't often lack confidence. But even he has to acknowledge that delivering this safe Labour seat into nationalist hands is a tough challenge and will take more than a few handshakes with the First Minister. <laughs> Launching the SNP's campaign here, though, Alex Salmond insists that with Labour in disarray in government and over its candidate for the race, it is winnable. Our first choice as SNP candidate for Glasgow East, Councillor John Mason. John. A dig there at Labour's troubled selection process. The SNP's chosen candidate is a local Glasgow councillor who's represented the area for a decade. We have the first popular SNP government. We have an exceptionally unpopular uh, Labour government in Westminster. We have Scottish Labour in turmoil with no leader, couldn't find a candidate for this area. So there are exceptional circumstances and it's a challenge, but we're up for it. There is clear evidence of regeneration in this constituency, but you don't have to walk far, just across the road, in fact, to see sites like this, some of the most deprived in the country. This is safe Labour territory, but Alex Salmond is predicting the possibility of demolishing Labour here. Wiping them out won't be easy. It would mean overturning a 13,500 majority. Tonight, this woman could be selected as Labour's candidate. Labour called this short election campaign and then on Friday their favoured candidate, local councillor George Ryan, failed to turn up at the selection meeting, losing them precious time. And they've struggled to get someone to stand. This man turned it down. Now Labour's got to clean up the mess. Well, the by-election won't be determined about one weekend's uh, campaigning. I think it will be determined on Labour's record in the east end of the city, one we're proud of, record investment in our schools, local housing, the new Glasgow Fort shopping centre, uh, for example. OK. Well, I'm sorry about that. In 2002, it was the Glasgow East constituency that changed Ian Duncan Smith's political priorities. Today, his party came back. St Jude is the patron saint of lost causes, so this may seem a peculiar venue for the Scottish Conservatives to choose to launch their by-election campaign. But opposition parties are seizing on the apparent disarray that Labour's in and their lost weekend, saying that they're the lost cause in this election. When you look at the Labour Party um, situation, you know, no leader in Scotland, no candidate in the by-election, a Prime Minister who won't visit the constituency... Uh, it does seem completely rudderless, leaderless and shambolic. The leaderless Scottish Liberal Democrats have a candidate out on the doorsteps. They think now they have a real chance. Well, we're third place, we're just behind the SNP and the Labour vote's crumbling, so there's everything to play for here. And there's an arrogance in the SNP campaign because they seem to think things are going to fall their way as of by right and it's not going to happen. Well, the Labour Party in Glasgow is meeting tonight to decide who will be their candidate in the by-election. As we've heard, the favourite is the MSP, Margaret Curran. Our reporter Tim Reid is outside the meeting. Tim, is it certain Ms Curran will be selected? Well, Labour's had uh, a difficult time over the past uh, 72 hours. Fun and games trying to select a candidate. There's more fun and games going on in there tonight because uh, as well as Labour's selection meeting, there's swimming in a five-a-side football match. Now, Labour is hoping they will pick a winning candidate here tonight. That's most likely to be Margaret uh, Curran, the MSP for part of this local area. They say, uh, Labour sources say, uh, if that is the case, then she will be an even better candidate than their first choice, who, of course, pulled out on Friday. Now, uh, the uh, uh, what will happen in here in uh, two weeks' time when they choose the, uh, the final victor of this by-election. There's a possibility of confusion. Margaret Curran's name will be on the ballot paper on polling day. So will Francis Curran, that is the Scottish Socialist Party's candidate. There's a possibility that the voters may get confused about those two at the top of the ballot paper. We will find out the results of the whole by-election when the votes are counted in here in three weeks' time. Thank you very much, Tim. And uh, to find a full list of all the candidates selected for so far, uh, log on to the BBC Scotland website. That's bbc.co.uk forward slash Scotland News. And now let's find out what's happening on the weather front. Over to Peter. Thank you, Janky. Good evening.